The Iran Aviation Industries Organization was established in 1966 for the purpose of planning, controlling, and managing the military aviation industry of Iran. Currently, the IAIO is responsible for directing five aviation organizations. Sahar, Hesa, PANHA, GHODS, Shahid Baser Industry. These five organizations have different and complementary roles in the Iranian defense industry and Iranian civil aviation, and have progressed, with the exception of gods, from repair and maintenance facilities to larger defense enterprises with several thousands employees. The Iran Helicopter Support and Renewal Company, or PANHA, was formed in 1969, the Iranian Aircraft Industries in 1970, and Iran Aircraft Manufacturing Industries Corporation, also known under its Persian acronym HESA, in 1974. Two other important companies, Iran Aviation Industries Organization of the Armed Forces, and GHODS Research Center were formed in the early 1980s. Overview IAIO acts as a policymaker and coordinator to promote an indigenous Iranian aeronautical industry by providing and assisting the Iranian aircraft industries with needed technologies, knowledge and parts. Iran's aviation industry is making rapid strides as evidenced by the inaugural flight of Iran's indigenously designed and manufactured Azar Action Sayer Care fighter jet to the mass production and launch of helicopters, turboprops, and passenger planes. Iran has also produced a Boeing 737-800 simulator, a first in Mideast. With a population of 70 million, Iran needs to have 6,300 airplanes while it does not possess more than nine aircraft for every one million individuals. History Iran's aviation industry infrastructure was by and large established in the 1930s, at the time of the Shah Reza Pahlavi where the German Junkers and Co. Aviation provided the foreign expertise and assistance. The industry was later expanded in the 1970s in the reign of Shah Mohammad Reza Pahlavi, benefiting from the boosted oil revenues. Not only did the Shah order vast quantities of America's most advanced weapons, he was also acquiring the capability to produce them in Iran. Under a multi-billion dollar industrialization program, the Shah commissioned U.S. arms firms to build entire weapons factories from scratch in Iran. Thus Bell Helicopter was building a factory to produce Model 214 helicopters in Isfahan. Northrop Corporation was also a joint partner in Iran Aircraft Industries, Inc., which maintained many of the U.S. military aircraft sold to Iran and was expected to produce aircraft components and eventually complete planes. These efforts represented a large share of U.S. industrial involvement in Iran and were a centerpiece of the Shah's efforts to develop modern, high-technology industries. After Western sanctions following the Iranian Revolution, the general official policy of Iranian government changed from having the best available in the world to being able to manufacture independently in order to meet domestic needs especially of technological products and therefore becoming sanction-proof. In no other field this urgency was higher than aeronautics. Therefore, Iran has avoided the need to purchase better Western aircraft available to it from time to time in favor of inferior ones that could be manufactured in Iran through arrangements of purchasing licenses and technologies as well as reverse engineering parts mostly to avoid situations that Iran has gone through during the 1980s till now by not being able to maintain what it had due to domestic, technological starvation. Major Projects Former Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad had favored the purchase of aircraft such as Iran 140 which are manufactured in Iran. Iran's aviation industries organization plans to manufacture 100 advanced to lift Tu-214 and Tu-204 airplanes with a capacity of 210 persons each in cooperation with Russia within the next 10 years.
Iran also intends to manufacture at least 50 Car 32 helicopters in Iran under license of Kamuv and negotiations are underway to manufacture 50 N-148 under license, probably with similar arrangements as Iran 140 to be named Iran 148. Agreements were signed with Russia for co-development and co-manufacture of an uncertain amount of two 334 airliners in Iran with production to commence simultaneously both in Iran and Russia. Another agreement with Poltava Helicopter Company of Ukraine allows Iran to manufacture the Aerocopter AK-1-3 Sankara ultralight multipurpose helicopters in Iran. Yet, Iran says it is prepared to order passenger planes from Boeing and Airbus if the United States lifts sanctions against Iran. In 2010, Iran's defense ministry said it will begin the production phase of a domestically manufactured medium-sized passenger plane designed to carry up to 150 passengers. This project is scheduled to be completed by 2018. QAHER-313 single-seat stealth fighter aircraft prototype publicly announced on 1 February 2013. Legal issues. In 2006 Textron sued IAIO for producing counterfeits of six types of its Bell unit helicopters without licenses thereby using trade secrets and patented designs without permission and demanded compensation for damages. In another lawsuit brought by Iran against Textron earlier, Iran had sought damages against unfulfilled contracts dating back before revolution. Textron ultimately sent five commercial helicopters to Iran in addition to providing spare parts and training in 1994 to settle the dispute. In summer of 2010, Iran requested that the United States deliver the 80th F-14 it had purchased in 1974, but delivery was denied after the Islamic Revolution.